Hi, this is Scott Bogren, Editor-in-Chief of Digital CT Magazine, and I'd like to welcome you to our September edition of Digital Community Transportation entitled Telling the Truth About Transit. And this edition of the magazine really emerges from a, uh, a, a series of, of magazines and in a way is an end of one part of that series, but then it's also kind of a beginning of a new set that I, I, I'm going to uh, discuss with you here. So, uh, so bear with me because uh, hopefully this will all make sense in the end. But in the, in the summer, we put out an edition of the magazine that focused on two critical issues and really two critical concerns. And that edition of the magazine really overlapped with a lot of the information that we discussed at Expo this year in Indianapolis. And those two themes were, were uh, medical transportation, specifically Medicaid, non-emergency transportation, and just in general, public transportation funding, be it at the state or federal in, or local level. And we, we talked a lot about those issues and, and, and really uh, discussed some of the concerns that we and many others share for those issues. Well, since we put that edition out, there's been a lot of action here in Washington that we've been keeping you up to date with, and I hope you've been checking our website and following uh, my Twitter feed with, with all the latest information on, on what's happening. And there's been good and bad news, and, and I'm certainly not going to get into all of that here. But it has become incumbent upon all of us as community and public transportation leaders and advocates to speak affirmatively about the work we do and to find the best venues to do that. And that's the focus of this edition. So it's kind of the, the end of, uh, of, of, of the trilogy here where some, someone might say, okay, I'm concerned about these issues. I'm concerned about what I'm hearing in, about, uh, in Washington or in the state capitol. Well, what do I do? This is the answer to that question. And we've tried to provide here um, uh, some tools and, 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 and tips and, and practical advice for having those discussions and telling the truth about transit in the many venues that you as leaders have. And, and you know, we've always encouraged you to meet with local, state, and elected officials, and that continues. But we also know that a lot of those conversations happen at church or happen at the, at the Lions Club or with the Chamber of Commerce and all the other meetings that you participate in and in which you are really the transportation expert. Uh, how do we make those things work better and how do we get past some of the, the challenges? Well, we've got, we've got uh, a lot of discussion in this edition of the publication from, from people who've, who've done that for years, who have uh, success in doing, in, in doing and, and participating in those types of conversations from our board chair, Ann Gilbert, who's the executive director of the Arkansas Transit Association, to some of the ideas that we've created here. And we even... Uh, created some videos so that if you uh, if you read and you're not sure well how does that look we try to actually create some uh, videos that I hope don't come across as too cheesy uh, on 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 showing you what it looks like and and that's really an, an important part because it's the best practices that we want to share with folks uh, there's also some articles about medical transportation, how to talk about medical transportation in the best possible way, and of course the jobs and employers and chambers and how important they are as partners, how to have conversations with them and speak about transportation with them. And in both of those cases, we try to actually learn from what they're interested in, kind of getting their playbook and making sure that transit can, can fit with, with, with the goals and objectives that they have because that's when we have that mutual benefit, that crossover benefit, that's when it really works. So uh, we also have a couple of very uh, interesting podcasts in our From the Community section that um, are themed not on the theme of the magazine but themed on transit's response to natural disasters that uh, sadly we've seen a lot of over the last uh, several months. In, in Vermont, the Green Mountain, Green Mountain Transit Agency and and their general manager, uh, acting general manager, Meredith Burkett, tells us about what the aftermath of Hurricane Irene did to, uh, to her system and also discusses a lot about how Vermont had to uh, respond and how transit responded. And in the uh, uh, 
couple of days before things really um, uh, got so bad in Vermont, that same hurricane uh, went up the eastern coast and, and brushed up against the uh, uh, some of the communities that Santo Grande and the Delmarva Community Transit System uh, serve. And so we talked to Santo about preparation, about what happens while this is going on, uh, the dedication of our drivers and operators. It's a, it's a, very, it's a very interesting uh, conversation. I hope you'll take a listen to. Uh, lastly, all of this leads to a new online Telling the Truth About Transit blog that is a key effort of the Community Transportation Association here this fall. And you're going to see links to that throughout the magazine. Go to the blog. Share with us your stories about your communications and your conversations and the tools you use to have good conversations. We really want this blog to be a, a dynamic and multifaceted dialogue about how to communicate the public and community transportation story as effectively as possible. Thanks again, as always, for, uh, for reading Digital CT, for t participating in all of, all of the association's activities. Uh, uh, we really uh, uh, have, have seen some wonderful um, responses uh, to uh, the digital magazine, and we think we're really honing the, our ability to make that an even better product for you. As always, if you have ideas or suggestions, uh, I'm here. And I also would encourage you to follow uh, my Twitter feed, which the handle is ctmag1. Follow me on Twitter there, and you'll, you'll get all sorts of good information about what's happening in public and community transportation. Have a nice day.